Now, if you have PowerDirector 19 crashing or 18, or you just feel like your computer is not fast enough, you may want to do this. I'll have a couple links where you can read more about it. And you can increase your page file size in Windows 10. Now, if you go into your computer control panel, and then you go to system, okay? Once you have this open, which gives you general information about your computer, you're going to go to advanced system settings. And I'll pull this over here. So once we're in here, we're going to go to advanced. And then you're actually going to go to the first one, which is visual effects. And then I'll go to advance. So notice that. And then I'll go to virtual memory. And here's where you change it. You'll see where I've changed mine. You don't have to change mine to yours. I mean, you can play around with it, make it bigger, make it smaller. And you just may find that it will make your Power Director run a whole lot better. And it may just run, make your Windows run a lot better. There are other articles on Google on uh, page file sizing. I would suggest you Google that. I would suggest you lo learn more about your Windows 10 computer on how you can tweak it, how you can make it faster. Um, a lot of people will think that more RAM is needed, more hard drive space, maybe a faster SD drive, and that's not the case. Sometimes it's just a matter of knowing how to run, how to tweak your windows to get more speed out of it. So here's a quick tip. This may help you get your PowerDirector 19 running faster, especially when it uh, does the compiling and it makes the video. At any rate, catch you on the next one.